Hi, I'm Greg, an engineer with Crucial. And I'm Elaine, a channel marketing manager at Crucial. And today, I'm going to show Elaine how easy it is to install the Crucial P310 into the Valve Steam Deck. And you're going to have to do a lot of explaining. I'm not technical at all. <laughs> and before we begin, just so you know, this installation video is specific to the LCD version of the Steam Deck. You'll need to go to the Valve website or the iFixit website to get the instructions for the OLED version of the Steam Deck. It's also worth noting that you'll want to back up any important files you have onto either an external storage device or a cloud-based storage service, unless it's a brand new Steam Deck that you're doing the installation in. Now, you'll also want to be sure that the battery level is below 25%, and you'll want to make sure that your BIOS is updated and that the battery is in storage mode in the BIOS. All right, Elaine, you ready to get started? Let's go. All right, the first step is to make sure you have a clean working area to help reduce the buildup of static electricity. It's a good idea to use an anti-static mat like we are here. Now, you'll wanna make sure that your Steam Deck is powered off, that there are, all the cables are unplugged, and if you have a micro SD card, you'll wanna make sure that that's removed as well. Now, we'll wanna gather all our supplies, which are gonna include an opening pick, a screwdriver, some tweezers, of course, your new Crucial P310 22x30 NVMe SSD and your Steam Deck, along with the owner's manual, which you can download from the Valve website if need be. So the first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll look at the back and there will be eight screws that we're going to remove. Nope, so you'll need a screwdriver there. for those. And you'll want to make sure you keep track of where each screw came from. You can use one of these handy little mats. If you don't have one of these, a pill container or an ice cube tray would work just fine. So let's go ahead and get started with the upper left one up here. Last. Excellent. And now we'll use a pick to help insert into the seam at the handle to help okay. pry the, the back plate. There oh, we go. That. Excellent. Now you'll take a pair of tweezers and you'll gently pull back this foil tape here to expose a hidden screw that we'll need to remove. Oh, there it is. There you go. Lost. So okay. we'll go ahead and remove that screw this and then there'll be two additional ones we'll take out as well. Perfect. Now there's two more little ones, one up oh, here. Okay. Excellent. There's one, one more on the bottom one. left. Okay. Now we'll remove this metal shield plate. Oh, okay. Oh. Perfect. And then you see this little pull tab here? We're going to remove this pull tab to disconnect the battery. Okay. We'll kind of pull that to the right. Oh, okay. There you go. Great. Now your battery's disconnected. Oh, it's easy enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And next we will remove the existing SSD. So there's a set screw in the okay. back. Oh, I see. Here, holding it down. Yep. And once you get that off, you'll notice the SSD will pop up a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. We'll just carefully remove that from the sides. Oh. Perfect. And we'll preserve this ESD shield around the outside, and we'll actually install that on the new Crucial SSD. You may okay. need tweezers to remove that. Oh, or... it slides oh, off. You're able to slide it right off. Perfect. Okay, so I'll take that, that here. give you that. Okay, and just right back in. Yep. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. And you'll notice the, the cutout for the set screw will align with the square notch in the back okay. of the Okay, perfect. The so shield. it all fits exactly. Okay. Exactly. Then I can just plug those back in. Yep, we'll go okay. back in about a 30 degree angle just like that. Okay, and just slides in. Oh, yep. there it goes. Perfect. Then we'll go ahead and just re-screw the, the set screw. Okay. And just all the way flat? Yep. Exactly. You don't want to over tighten it, but just enough so that it will sit flat. Excellent. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and plug that battery in. Okay. Pull tab. And just slide in. Oh, back in the connector. And okay. notice the little Light. LED went okay. on. Okay. And then this just right back on top. Yep. Exactly. And we'll line those screws up and put the three screws back in place. This, uh, do I need to do something with the foil again? Yes, we will fold that foil tape back over the hidden screw. Okay. And, okay, 
great. Now you can use this if you want to okay. oh, for the fold foil. that foil back over. And it's just flattening it out like that? Exactly, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, and now we're ready to put the back plate back on. Oh. And then we will just replace the screws in the same oh. order and positions okay. as we remove them. All right, we'll start with these longer corner ones. Excellent. Wow, almost done. This is impressive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah excellent. I almost did it. <laughs> And now you can go out to the Valve website and get the instructions on how to install and customize the Steam OS. There will also be the ability to download a backup recovery image to a USB drive. And now you've got plenty of storage for all your games. Cool. Thanks so much, Greg. This wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Absolutely. <laughs> and be sure to go out to Crucial.com if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.